Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Thursday, the 15th of August, and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, India takes one the series, and in our feature for this evening, Senkis Nevis Sports Summit commences. We'll take this break, and I'll be right back. Taxes are the lifeblood of a nation. Feel good about what your tax dollars do in Nevis. As a responsible citizen, your tax dollars protect our environment. Pay your taxes on time. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Well, I'm back and we start with cricket. West Indies was led by a sensational half-century from Chris Gale, who top-scored with 72 from 41 balls in his 301st one-day match. This included eight fours and five maximums and was the 54th half-century of his career to go along with 25 centuries. On Sunday, in his 300th match, he surpassed Brian Lara as the leading one-day batsman for the West Indies and now has 10,480 runs. Gale shared an opening partnership of 115 from just 10.5 overs with Erin Lewis, who made 43 from 29, five fours and three sixes. Lewis ended the free match series as the leading batsman with 148 runs at an average of 74. The stand between Gale and Lewis piloted West Indies to 240 for 7 from 35 overs. Late in the innings, Nicholas Puran smashed three sixes and 30 of 16 balls. India was asked to make 255 for victory of 35 overs and they reached the target with four wickets down. They were again led by Captain Virat Kohli who made 114 not out in 99 balls with 14 boundaries. It was his second century in the two knocks in the series and he won the award for the man of the match and player of the series. Left arm spinner Fabian Allen was the leading bowler for the Windies with 2 for 40, both wickets coming in the 13th over as the home side gained control before Kohli hit his 43rd century in the format to seal the victory and a 2 0 series win for the visitors. It didn't work out for us today. We batted well at the top and credit to Chris and Evan for the start they gave us. They were positive from the start and showed what they are capable of. We thought we had a really good score, who would have said. I was really pleased how we batted the situation after the rain break. Before on previous occasions, we might have gone helter-skelter and lost wickets. Today we handled the situation really well and we put ourselves in a position to win. It was just unfortunate we could not get the win for our fans. The two teams will now move on to Antigua for the start of the two-match test series and that starts on the 22nd of August. Summary scores, West Indies 240 for 7 from 35, Chris Gale 71, Evan Lewis 43, Nicholas Puran 30, Shimron Hetmeyer 25, Shai Hope 24, Khalid Ahmed 3 for 68, India 256 for 4 from 32.3, Virat Kohli 114 at out, Shares Lyre 65, Darwin 35. We'll take this break and when I come back we'll have our feature for this evening. Listen closely and you will hear what climate change might sound like. Hurricanes getting stronger and more frequent. Glaciers melting causing a rise in sea levels. Dry bush burning after a prolonged drought left the bushes vulnerable to fires. What? No water again? But listen closely again and you will hear the solutions. People switching to energy saving light bulbs. People building stronger homes that can withstand hurricane force winds. Our climate may be changing, but so can we. Making small changes together can have a huge effect on reducing the impacts of climate change. Act now. Rally. Rethink. Respond. This message is brought to you by the OECS Secretariat with funded assistance from USAID. Well, I'm back, and tonight we have this item in general sports news. The much-anticipated St. Kisnevis Sports Summit, SKNSS, commenced at the Brownhill Hard Court on the evening of Sunday, 11th August. Senior Sports Officer in the Department of Sports, Mr. Kelvin Bramble, whose brain child it was, ably chaired the proceedings. Thanks to Tyrone Davis, we get these excerpts. I would like to welcome you guys to the SKN Sports Summit. Um, special mention to Honorable 
um, the woman, as well as Jamia Claxton. Um, thank you guys very much for coming out today. I uh, hope that today and the rest of the week will be a very productive um, week as we try to encourage and encourage you guys to continue and develop your skills in basketball as well as aim towards getting towards the professional level and college level. Well, we are this afternoon to comment some very important initiative. I would like to commend Mr. Kelvin Bramble for conceiving the idea and putting in the work to ensure that this initiative comes out. Here in Nevis, we are constantly looking at ways of developing our young athletes, no matter what the sport is. And an initiative of this nature goes a long way. We know that we don't have all the resources, or we don't have the necessary personnel in all aspects, but for us to partner with organizations such as yours is a good way of helping us to realize our dreams, our potential of putting more basketballers in university and hopefully one day we'll have an NBA player come in here from Nevis. My name is Michael Henville and I'm actually here um, not representing myself but representing uh, the foundation uh, that my family started some years ago. Uh, it's called the Caribbean Foundation for Children. Uh, so on behalf of the Caribbean Foundation for Children we've uh, made a um, a sponsorship donation to the uh, SKNSS, uh, the Sports Summit, uh, which we are very happy about and very proud to be a part of. Um, and I really, really can't thank you guys enough. And thank you, uh, Mr. Bramble, for reaching out to me and uh, sending me the emails and uh, telling me to, you know, look things over. And I was very pleased and uh, happy to uh, to read it, read everything over and be a part of it. And uh, here I am. So I really, really appreciate it. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, I do, I'm going to wear this t-shirt proudly, um, but I do have something for you. Um, put that there. I just want to formally say thank you and uh, pass over the uh, um, sponsorship check to you from the Caribbean Foundation for Children. So thanks again, and gentlemen, uh, all I can say is just soak this up. Soak all of this up as much as possible. Um, there's lots of people uh, behind you giving you guys lots of uh, encouragement. And um, just like to tell you guys um, just to soak it all in and enjoy it. And uh, hopefully this is something that you guys can take with you for the future. On behalf of the Bank of Nevis Limited, we are pleased and excited to be here. Anything to do with sports and sponsorship and development of the community and a whole. The Bank of Nevis Limited is always there, and I just want to take the time out to thank uh, the Youth and Sports, SKNSS, and of course Mr. Kelvin Bambola, and an initiative well put together, and I wish you all the success for the week upcoming and for years to come. The Bank of Nevis Limited believes in helping the community that we serve, and of course I cannot come here today without bringing gifts. Uh, can I have just one of the gifts, please? I'm not that good at sports. Thank you. <laughs> now, what we're brought here today is two branded basketballs, Bank of Nevis Limited. So at this point in time, I just want to say I hope that these balls go a long way to help with the camp. And I just want to remind the general public at this point in time to invest in the bank that invests in you. Your bank, my bank, our bank, the Bank of Nevis Limited, improving the quality of life. Thank you. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody involved, from sponsors to the Hamilton uh, Villas and Spas for their hospitality. Thank you to Kelvin for coordinating all the efforts. Sonora for all the uh, coordinated efforts that we all put together. Uh, we're excited to be here in uh, St. Kitts and Nevis to work with the kids, to really embark our knowledge on them. Thank you to my team for coming out. Uh, just to give you a little glimpse into what they're all about, we have some people who really have some phenomenal experiences, and what we want to do is create experiences and opportunities for them. So people who have played at a high level in Canadian basketball, to people who have really done athletic treatment, sports rehab, athletic therapy for some major athletes in a variety of different sports, to sports testing. We're doing some athletic uh, testing from different agility tests to vertical tests, all different types of things here today, and also some elite high level basketball training for certain guys that who have just got drafted into the NBA this season. Uh, Jerome Smith works with some of them as their trainers as well, helping them to get their skills ready. So you guys are really getting some of the top level instruction here, and it's only possible because of all the people 
who uh, have spoken before me here today. So we really are thankful to them for them making the time to have us here today. And we are super excited to be investing that energy into the youth of Nevis and St. Kitts. Good evening. Um, thank you guys again for having us. This means a lot to us, obviously giving back to you guys, um, having the opportunity to, to make sure that we're impacting the youth uh, at the next level. Um, as Josh kind of already covered, um, the reason why we're here is just to make sure that you guys are being impacted in different ways, um, even a little bit more than sports, right? So what true champs stand for is true character or true mindset and a character build up. So at the same time, we, as much as we're investing in the sport, we want to make sure that we're investing in your, your future as young men going to, to adults and, and um, being a positive impact in your community, whether it's in Nevis, whether it's in St. Kitts, or whether going out there. So um, thank you again, Calvin, obviously, for inviting us. Um, we're, you're going to have a great experience, a lot of high energy, a lot of talented people here from, from Canada who came down to support you. But outside of Canada, I think the support is here in Nevis, as you can see here. So uh, if you guys can just give uh, a round of applause for those who are supporting you here, because that's major. Okay, so the initiative can only start if we get that support. So uh, this is year one. We're looking to make this year two, year three, year four, year five, as much as we can until we get an NBA superstar, I guess. <laughs> right? So, and, I, and we believe in that. Uh, and nonetheless, it's just not about basketball. There's other sports as well. So, again, thank you guys for having us. Thank you guys for having True Champs to uh, come here and, and share some knowledge. And then, of course, for all those who are giving back to, to St. Kitts and Nevis. We, we greatly appreciate you guys having us here. Hello, everybody. Um, so at Check My Athletics, we just focus on testing you athletes on your basic speed, agility, strength. We want to find out how explosive you are, and we give you back that data. When uh, when the event's done, you're going to have access to our website, and you'll see how you rank compared to other kids in our database. So it's not a bad thing, even if you have a low percentage, it's not something you look at and say, oh my goodness, it's what you should look at and say, this is what I need to work on to improve. So the, the scores are just a starting point. And from there on, you, you have that information. Uh, you have, we put on our website information from some of our fitness instructors on ways you can do different drills to help improve some of those aspects of your game. Um, so for today, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna measure your three-quarter court sprint. Uh, we're gonna do your standing and max vertical jumps. You're gonna do your shuttle or pro agility drill, uh, the, which is a shuttle run. And then you're gonna do the lane agility drill. Um, and the broad jump, sorry, I almost forgot one. We'll do a broad jump as well. Uh, again, when all those are done, uh, you'll have those scores on our website. And on top of that, uh, except for the broad jump, all those scores for the last how many NBA draft classes, when they do the combines, those scores go on, their, on the NBA website as well. So if you really want to see how you compare to NBA athletes, uh, nbadraft.com, and you can compare your scores there as well. Okay? I am very heartened to be here this evening to be a part of this initiative. I want to first of all highly, and when I say highly, I mean highly commend um, Mr. Bramble, who is spearheading this initiative. When he came to my office and spoke to me about it, I thought it was a very good idea. Of course, we know that we do have some talent here in Nevis where basketball is concerned, but it's also always very important when those talents are polished when those poly those talents are nurtured and of course we have i think we have some professionals here from canada and of course we know that mr bramble is one who would have benefited from um, a sports scholarship and so he wants that to spread to other young men on the island of nevis and it is important once you would have benefited from something that you want others to benefit and you others to get that expertise. And for him to would have come up with this initiative and ran with it and would have been very successful in executing this initiative, I think he deserves a huge, huge round of applause. And Mr. Bramble has been so committed to the initiative that he would have gone up to Canada as well and done some groundwork there, apart from doing the groundwork here. And uh, the most commendable thing about it is that sometimes he would have used his own finances 
to get the initiative off the ground. It's not many persons on the island, it's not many young persons who use their own money to ensure that they can have something like this on the ground for young persons to benefit from. I think it is very important for the, you, the young men and I think that you should take it very seriously. You should utilize the expertise of our friends, our brothers from Canada. And I particularly like the name St. Kitts Nevis Sports Summit. And a summit is something that is always um, of a very high level and a very high standard. And a summit is something that you should always expect results from. So I'm expecting that from this St. Kitts Nevis Sports Summit that all of what will be demonstrated, all of what will be passed on to you, the young men on Nevis, on this basketball court, that you will get the results and we will see the results in the future. Several persons ahead of me would have spoken about getting an NBA player. Well, Nevis is small and I always say we should not limit ourselves. And I'm not going to limit to one basketball NBA player. I believe we can get several NBA players. So we should not limit to one. And we have some very budding basketballers here. I've seen some of them on the courts playing before. I think they're quite good. And I'm hoping that more young basketballers will be a part of the SKN Summit. I think this is only the starting year. And I believe we have places to go where this initiative is concerned. And I believe that in the years to come, this could be something very huge for Nevis. Thank you so much, Tyrone, and congratulations, Mr. Bramble. That's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you are not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.